Yeah, we back. Now I got a question for the people, man. I got a question for the audience, right? If somebody claims that they come from the streets, right? They came from the streets, they came from the gutter. Their claim to fame is the name that they established in the streets, right? The way they made their first $15,000, $50,000, $100,000 was up out the streets, right? Running from the cops, engaging in illegal activities, right? Let me go a step further. If this person has went on to not only brag about their time in the streets, right? Really claim that, yeah, they're a real street dude. They also wrote books about their time in the streets. They done wrote memoirs about their war stories from being up in the streets of California down to Alabama, down to Detroit, just all over the map, all over the United States. They bragged about how they was with the pimps and, and the shooters and this, that, and the third. And they really take pride in that fact, right? And their audience also bigs them up as a character who is authentic, right? Very authentic, right? And then that same person, that same person, now me, I'm not, I'm not from the streets, bro. Listen, I'm a taxpaying citizen. I'm a taxpaying citizen and I obey the laws of the land and the constitution of the country, right? Don't get me involved. Don't get me wrapped up in the street nonsense, right? I'm just asking a question to the audience. If somebody claims to have made their name in the streets and even went so far as to claim that they were a pimp and wrote books about their exploits and their endeavors during their time in the streets, right? Something that they never ran from. They boldly stand in their history as a street dude, right? I never been no street dude, so I can't really vouch. I can't really provide a testimony, but I'm just speaking about what this person has delivered to the table and the image that they've established in front of the eyes of the people. Now, like I said, I'm not a street dude, so anything I know would be from secondhand knowledge, secondhand information. But what I do know from the limited information that I do have is if you are a street dude talking to the law, running to the law for anything is a no go, right? The law is seen as the opposition. The law is seen as the adversary, right? To go speak to the law would be equivalent to committing treason on the streets, right? Now, keep in mind, I'm not a street dude, so I don't know. Listen, street dudes, get in the comment section. Let me know. Let me know. Maybe the rules have changed since I've last been updated with the terms and conditions, with the terms of services, right? I don't know. Maybe... It updates, right? Because YouTube, they be updating the terms and policies every year. They be like, listen, we got the new terms and conditions. You got to agree. So maybe the streets then dropped a new update, a new manual, right? A new operating system that I don't know about. Because as you can see, even in Young Thug's case, everybody's snitching. Everybody telling. So maybe you could be a street dude and snitch nowadays, right? Maybe that's the thing. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Street dudes, get in the comment section. Let us know. But last time I checked, if you a street dude talking to the law, out of the question, right? Out of the question. Even if it's in your benefit, because you are a street dude, you are tied to the street code. Now me, I, like I said, I'm a taxpaying civilian. I don't know nothing about the street code. I don't obey the street code because listen, I'm on the sidewalk. But you know, for those of us who aren't on the sidewalk, for those of us that's dancing in the street, you can't speak to the law. You cannot speak to the law, even if it means to protect yourself, right? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. I don't know. I don't know y'all let me know but as y'all know if y'all saw that video i dropped the other day entitled the truth about tariq nasheed's hidden history museum and on that video the homie brandon aka pan-africanism strikes back he was speaking about how his court date went against tariq nasheed in case i didn't know tariq nasheed actually filed paperwork actually filed a case against brandon aka pan-africanism strikes back simply for being an investigative journalist that's doing his job at a high level right actually bringing the information to the people and exposing Tariq for the grifter and the scam that he's running on the people. And because Pan-Africanism Strikes Back, AKA Brandon is applying so much pressure and doing an excellent job at his investigative journalism, man, Tariq Nasheed sweating, Tariq Nasheed stressing, and now he decide that the only option that he has left is to run to white mommy and white daddy. Now me, like I said, I'm a tax paying citizen, so I don't obey the street code, but Tariq Nasheed has been caught on live streams saying that, listen, if you run to the law, that's equivalent to running to white mommy and white daddy, right? You run into, yeah, that's what he has said in his own words, right? So now, because Brandon is applying so much pressure, now he has no choice but to run to the same white mommy and white daddy that he has berated and disrespected other people for doing the same thing. And unfortunately, he's looking real bad out here in these streets. Now, I'm gonna play a snippet, I'm gonna play a excerpt from O'Shea Du Jackson's Celebrity Junk series on YouTube, where he also, you know, gives a little background of the situation for those of y'all who don't know what's going on, right? So I'm gonna run the footage and I'm gonna come right back. Let's go. Um, have now gotten into a situation where Tariq Nasheed is taking Pan-Africanism Strikes Back, it appears to civil court. And of course, it, I think it's a, a restraining order that has something to do with, um, you know, Tariq saying that, you know, uh, Brother Brandon is, uh, or Pan-Africanism Strikes Back is stalking him, harassing him. Obviously, Tariq Nasheed 
um has the you know the the hidden history museum and i i donated to that not so much like 50 bucks and brother brandon was telling me like you know hey you know he's not going to do anything with the hidden history museum and all that and then so he started seeing those things and so it got to the point where brother Tariq, uh from what i understand just kind of got enough of it and then or, or what he felt was to enough so he, he's taking brother brandon to court all right now we back I ask again to the people, if a guy claims to have made his name in the streets, that was his claim to fame. He made his first hundred thousand in the streets, man, off the black market, off of getting money illegally. And now as a grown man, he's talking about, man, we got to put cases on dudes. He's putting cases on other black men, right? The same guy who's talking about other people are agents, the guy who claims to be, you know, fighting against the quote unquote power structure, right? He's going to run to the same power structure, right? To throw cases on dudes. But he claims that he's really from the streets though. He claims that he's from the mean streets of Alabama and Detroit and California. And he was really moving around, really getting to the money, how he was getting to it illegally on the black market. No tax. You know what I mean? Not paying no tax on it, you know? pimping in the streets like he claims putting out movies and, and books and dvds on his days in the pimp game right now he's reformed as a black leader but now he's claiming that he's not a snitch i ask you again keep in mind i am not from the streets right i am a square i am a square as they come i went to private school with the with the suit and the tie and my shirt tucked in listen with the with the church shoes on and the girls they had the plaid skirts with the sweater vest listen i'm really a square as they come i am not from the streets we was on the school bus with our books and our science books and our math books doing homework in the morning i listen i am not from the streets i pay my taxes i obey the law so if i want to run to the law for protection i'm well within my rights because due to the fact that i'm a taxpaying citizen who has never claimed to be a street dude i can take advantage of the benefits given to me by the government including calling the law when i need protection including calling an ambulance when i'm in an emergency but see the street dudes they can't do that right the street dudes they got to stick to the street code so i ask y'all man is Tariq Nasheed a snitch for running to the law for getting exposed due to the fact that he was feeling the pressure placed on him by the excellent investigative journalism performed by Brandon, aka Pan Africanism Strikes Back? And I ask if the dude is really a fraud who's really not from the streets, right? Who's really just a guy who's really on the sidewalk like me. So why, why, why is his claim to fame being a street dude? And why is he now taking pride in the fact that he even said on a live stream the other day, oh, we gotta be like Cardi B. We gotta be like Cardi B and put cases on people. In case you didn't know, Cardi B put a case on a blogger by the name of Tasha K for defamation or something like that, right? And I believe Cardi B ended up winning the case and it was a big judgment. I don't know how Tasha K is gonna find that money, but he was actually on his live stream comparing himself, a grown man with a wife and a family, to cardi b yes a grown black man comparing himself to cardi b like yeah we got to be like cardi b like bro what what man <laughs> what black man stands up in front of an audience and says that we need to be like cardi b <laughs> man listen like share subscribe it's your boy never card that's a lead back in the building yes indeed i'm gone man peace Reincarnated, I'm back in the original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applaud it. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shoot. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down a generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genus. Falsifying information. No, they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling attention. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Get for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young Monte Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hour, they wage. I got business. This shit is an art, and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play with my money, I see you ain't caught. Run to the check and I do it for sport Babylon falling, I go to the source Packing my luggage and go overseas Shorty be with me and she so elite Shorty be chugged and I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence probably gon' murk me Don't fuck with brands cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces